if I have double phase American power, how many cables I have uh, in the in the short power cables? How many elements I have in the short power connector? Four. I have a double phase. Three. How many? Four. 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 I have one hotline red, other hotline black. I have a white for neutral, and I have green for ground. And the cable should be marine grade cable. This cable is marine, uh, maximum 600 volts, and uh, the temperature is 105 degrees Celsius. You remember how important is the temperature? Mm -hmm. For the voltage drop. Okay, and uh, this is a marine grade pacer, marine grade. Good, this is a marine grade cable with proper insulation in between, in between both of them to avoid overheating in those wires. Okay, I have a, I have a double phase pedestal. And of course here in my boat, I have the outlet, yeah? I have the outlet here where I connect the short power cable, ready? And the outlet in the output have hot, hot, neutral, and ground. And this is the connection. And uh, I have an inverter. I have an inverter. What is the input of the inverter? Batteries. A group of batteries, a battery bank. And in the output I have hot, hot, neutral, and, 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 ground. Ah, of course, the ground is going here. Ground is going here. And if I have a generator in the output breaker, I have a hotline, hotline, I have neutral, and I have other hotline. The second hotline, and I have the neutral in the middle. Sorry. I have the neutral in the middle. Ready? The same, the same with the short power cable. In short power cable, I have hot, number one. I have neutral. I have hot number two. And uh, the same with the inverter. I have a hot number one. I have hot number two. And I have neutral. That's correct. And of course, in the output, I have exactly the same. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. I have a hot connected with hot, connected with hot, and this is the hot coming out to the transformer. I have a neutral, 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 connected together, and this is the neutral enter in the transformer. And I have hot, 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 number two, and all of them going into the transformer. In the transformer, I have hot, hot, and neutral. Excuse me. The ground enter in the breakers? The ground pass through the breakers? No. No, the ground is, is uh, independent. This is breaker number one for uh, short power. This is breaker number two for inverter. This is breaker number three for generator. That's okay? And uh, of course, we have uh, the piece of metal here that you slide depending which one you want to, to connect. All right, great. And now we are going to continue here into the AC panel.
In the AC panel, I have a main breaker here. And uh, I have a group of uh, breakers. Double breaker here for two phases. Other double breaker here for other two phases. Double breaker here in the other side, the other group of breakers. And single breakers. Single breaker here, single breaker here. Remember that uh, in this boat, I have double phase. And uh, how many terminals here? Three terminals. One terminal will be the hotline. Other terminal will be the other hotline. And other terminal here in the middle will be the neutral. And finally here in the bottom, I have a neutral boot bar. Neutral, 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 neutral is neutral. And uh, my neutral goes directly into the neutral boot bar. Okay, now we are going to do the configuration on the breakers. This is the breaker double, breaker double, double breaker, double breaker, single breaker, and single breaker. All right. With the hotline number one, the black face, I am going to fit the first element of the double breaker, and I am going to fit the other single breaker. Everybody follow me? With the red one, I am going to do the same. I am going to fit the second of each breaker and the individual breaker. I have phase one and I have phase two. Ah, but uh, in this breaker I need double phase. Okay, I am going to bring from this one and uh, from this one. And now I have power in both breakers and the same with the black one. With the black one, one here, and with the black one, one here. Everybody follow me? And now, both group of double breakers, they have two different faces. Why is important different faces? Once again, I'm going to refresh. I have a compressor in my home. My wife gave to me a compressor for Christmas. The compressor is double face. But uh, I, live in a, uh, I live in a condo, and in the condo I only have single face. I don't have double face in the panel, only single face outlets. Can I connect my double face compressor in, in this apartment, in this condo? No, because I need double face. In my condo, I have single face. Okay, somebody says no, I am going to, because I am intelligent, I have one face, I am going to split the cables in two cables, and I am going to connect phase one and phase two. It's good? No. The motor of the compressor start with that split cable? Yes or not? The motor needs two phases. And you, you have one and you split in two. The motor start? No. No. The motor is, is humming, but no start. Why not? Because it's the same phase. It's, you remember when I did the explanation about the, the motor with two pistons? one person over there and other person here. Should be two different people. Not the same people with both hands, no, no, no. Should be two different persons moving the crankshaft. If not, if not, with only one hand, I tried, but it's a heavy motor, two, two cylinders for me with only one piston. I tried and the motor is, is humming, but it's not moving. You understand? I need double face. Why? If I have double face in different color, why those faces are different? Because one face is created some degrees after the other face, and the other face other degrees after when you have three faces. Yeah? What is the angle? What is the name of that angle? Face angle. Face angle. How much? What happens if the face angle is too small? What happens with that electric motor with the face angle too small? For higher speed. What happens if the face angle is a big angle? 
high torque. You are doctors, guys. Good, great. Okay, I have my breakers, and now I am going to connect any type of equipment. For example, suppose that I have here, this is the compressor, and uh, this is uh, the evaporator. This is the evaporator. Uh, uh, and uh, this is uh, this is an air conditioning equipment, no? And the motor is double phase. The motor of the compressor need phase one, phase two, and 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 right. it's, it's a double phase motor. The motor need neutral? No. no. The motor use ground, hot, and hot because it's double phase. Oh, in the other side, I have a water maker. The water maker, this is the water maker, is double phase. Sorry, no, water heater, sorry. I have a water heater. The water heater is double phase. What is the meaning of that? I need one phase, I need the other phase, and I need I need ground. I have other air conditioning equipment. I have another air conditioning equipment in that boat. Where is recommended install that air conditioning equipment? Here in the other breaker or here in this breaker? You have another air condition. Doesn't matter. No, you need balance. You need balance, both charge, both charge. What is the element with more consumption of amps in a boat, in your home? Single phase. What is the equipment in your home with more consumption of amps? The AC unit, the air conditioning unit. If I have two air conditioning units in my home, I install one in one side and the other one in the other side to keep to keep the amps balanced. Okay, other air conditioning unit here with a hot, with other hot, and ground. And uh, here, for example, I have a water maker. The water maker, the high pressure pump of the water maker is 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 a double phase. Ah, uh, okay, exactly the same. Hot, hot, and ground. Ah, uh, okay. I have lights. I have computers. I have fans. It's single phase, single phase in both sides in both sides. Ah, I need to replace that panel for a bigger panel because, okay, you make a big hole and you replace for a bigger panel because you don't have a space for additional breakers in that panel. This is very common, no, in boats. At the beginning, the boat is coming, original, originally new one, with two or three additional uh, spaces for breakers. But uh, in the future, you install more equipment. Now we are going to install in the AC panel this is an AC panel double phase. Uh, we are going to install voltmeter and meter, a frequency meter per each phase. We have three per phase number one and other three for the second phase, the red one. Okay guys, yes, we are going to install frequency meter, voltmeter and ammeter. Uh, why I need verify the amps in each phase, in phase one and phase two? Why it's recommended that I periodically I check because the balance, no? I want I want to to keep the balance in both phases. What is the element in my boat? What is the equipment in my boat that is affected if I have excessive unbalance? One phase is 80 amps and the other phase 10 amps. What is the element that could be damaged? The generator. What is the symptom when I have too much load in one phase and low load in the second phase? <laughs> the generator is knocking because the rotor tried to touch the stator. And in one moment, when the rotor really, really touched the stator, what happened? Short. And you damage the back end of the generator. If you hear a little, a little, a little knocking on the generator, turn off the generator and verify what happened with the loads. For what other reason I, I recommend install ammeters, ammeters in, a, in, a, in my panel, in my AC panel. 
Yes, one is to check the, the balance of the loads. That's number one. The second one, the second important, important situation that uh, you need to check is basically to identify if I have leaks of current. Let me explain something. Suppose that in this moment, my boat, all the equipments are off. Off, 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 off. Off, all the breakers are off, 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 off. I have nothing. However, in one of the phase, I have four amps. And in the other phase, 1.5 amps. This is normal? If everything is off, no, you have a leak. And we need to identify where is the leak. If I have a leak, where is flowing? Where are flowing those electrons? Through the bonding conductor, da, 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 and affected the bonding system. What happens if you have three amps flowing constantly through the bonding conductor? What happened in one month? Everything is corroded. And uh, what happened if I no pay attention? I never try to solve the situation. One day, one of the metallic elements will be perforated. For example, what happened if the metallic tank, the aluminum tank, the starboard side fuel tank is perforated? How many gallons you have in each tank in a medium big boat? Ah, oh, depends. You have a 700 gallon tank and it's in the yeah. Correct. You have 350 in each one. 400 right. gallons! What happens if you have a leak of 400 gallons in the bilge? Yeah. That's not good. Okay? And uh, also, we are going to install frequency meter. Hertz. Hertz. In both, in both, in both phases. Why is important the frequency meter in both phases? Pay attention. I have in the frequency meter, when the boat is connected to shore power, 60 hertz. It's good? Yes, because it's, it's in America, the boat is in America, it's 60 hertz. However, when I turn off the breaker for shore power and I turn on the breaker of generator, I start the generator, the frequency is 57 hertz. That's good? No. Why not? But uh, what, what is the consequence with that low frequency the from the generator? The amperage goes up. Excuse me? The amperage goes up in motors. Correct. And the temperature of the down. winding increase and uh, suddenly shoot down. And you can damage the winding of some equipment if the boat is running constantly with low frequency in the generator. What is the symptom, uh, the physical symptom that, that you can see when you have a low frequency on the generator? The lights are blinking. And uh, when you touch the motors, when you touch the pumps are too hot because the temperature in the windings increase. That's okay? All right. We are going to start with the voltmeter. You remember how was the connection of the voltmeter in the DC panel, you remember? How many terminals have the voltmeter in the back? Two, Two terminals. Yeah. You remember that? Is a, a, one is positive and the other one negative. The positive is going to the positive boost bar in the panel and the negative to the negative boost bar. Simple, no? And uh, what about the voltmeter in AC? How many terminals have the voltmeter in AC? Three. Two. Two? Two? One for hot and other for neutral. Remember, the ground is not touching. The ground goes directly into the ground boost bar. If, if you have two phases, you have two voltmeters. One voltmeter for phase one, and other voltmeter for phase two. Ah, Mr. Lopez, I want to check the voltage in between both phases. Okay, we're going to install another voltmeter for double phase. That's okay? All right. But uh, the voltmeter have only two terminals. No? Two terminals. One for hot and other for neutral. Ah, okay, look at this. This is my voltmeter. One for hot. Where I connect the hot? 
in the hot bus bar number one? Any part of the hot bus bar number one? That's okay. And the neutral, the neutral, to the neutral bus bar, here, in the neutral bus bar. Good. And now, my voltmeter, my voltmeter number one, phase one, is, is showing the voltage of that phase. I'm going to connect the voltmeter of the other phase. The voltmeter in the other phase is one phase, one phase, to the hotline red one. I prefer after the breaker, not before the breaker. After the breaker. And the neutral to the neutral bus bar. I have voltmeters in both phases. Oh, I want to connect the voltmeter for, how much is the maximum reading in this voltmeter? 120. 120. And 120 for the other one. I want another one to verify if I have 240 in my boat. Uh, okay, I am going to connect. Other one, this one to the hotline number one. And this one to the hotline number two. two. And that's it. In this one, I have 240. Finito. Here and here, any part of the hotline one and hotline two. You don't need neutral in two? You remember? No neutral, just hot no. I have hot, hot, neutral, and ground. How much is the reading between this and this? Black and white, 120. In between red and white. In between black and ground. 119 point something. Between red and ground. 119 point something. A little lower. Okay. In between black and red. 240. I need I need neutral in to read two faces. What happened when I split this? Hotline black one in two small black ones. How much is the reading in between that hot and that hot? It's zero because it's the same phase. It's the same phase, no differential in potential. Good, guys? Yeah. Okay, great. Now we are going to connect the ammeter. For the ammeter, I need I need a donut. This donut. The donut have two cables. The donut, if you open the donut, is a coil. Positive and negative. Okay, when you open the donut, the donut have two small cables. One cable for one terminal, and other cable for the other terminal of the ammeter. One donut. And you have in the other phase another donut. One cable here, and other cable here for ammeters. And right now you have both ammeters connected with the donuts. Thank you. That's it. This is the procedure to connect the ammeters. That's, that's, that's clear, my friends? I have a, the donut for one ammeter, the other donut for the other ammeter. The voltmeter here is hot and neutral. The other voltmeter is hot and neutral. And uh, you jump it hot and neutral for frequency. That's it. Finito.